Welcome back to another edition of All This Math. This is Professor Parker, and I came back to do another video based on a topic that I recently did a video on, where we're dealing with linear equations in the XY plane, and we're going to find an ordered pair that is a solution to the equation that's given. And this time, we got a different equation, 2x minus y is equal to 3. Okay, so 2x minus y is equal to 3. We want to find the ordered pair, meaning an x and a y value, or order pair x and a y value. When you hear when you see the word ordered, just think alphabetical order, right? Because the x value code goes first inside the parentheses, then a comma, then the y value comes second. All right. So, in order to do this, what we do is we pick any x value we want, any x value. It don't matter. Usually I use zero, but I'm gonna just be different for the sake of this video, just to kind of see let y'all see what happens. Um, for x, I think I'm gonna choose negative two. So let's see what y is when x is negative 2. So if I choose negative 2 for x, that means I already got half of the ordered pair already. And the method that we use is we just pick any random value for x we want. So we're going to have this. Instead of x, instead of 2 times x, we're going to have 2 times, and I'm choosing negative 2. Now, in case you wonder, why am I choosing negative 2? No reason. No reason. It's random. It's random, right? In another video, I chose zero, so I'm just trying to be different. I'm trying to not choose zero, but, you know, it's an infinite amount of numbers. But I'm going to use negative two just because I feel like it, basically, right? So now I got two times negative two minus y is equal to three. All right, now my goal is to solve for y. Now I'm trying to solve for y. All right, so in order to solve for y, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply two times negative two. I'm going to do that first. I'm going to multiply two times negative two. Now I got to know that. When you multiply a positive number by a negative number, the product is always negative. So 2 times negative 2 is equal to negative 4. So now I got negative 4 minus y is equal to 3. So I got negative 4 minus y is equal to 3. Now again, my goal is to get y by itself. So on the, when I say by itself, I mean on that side of the equation. The equation has two sides, a left side and a right side, divided by an equal sign. Right. So on the left-hand side, you got negative 4 minus y. I'm trying to get y alone. So I got to get rid of this negative four. And I also got to get rid of this negative one because this minus sign is really a negative. It's also, or also could be considered a negative one that's being multiplied by Y. You'll see that in a minute. On the right hand side, we got a three. The three is cool because that's over there. We want to get Y by itself. This three is not, not affecting this Y at all. So to get rid of negative four, we do the opposite operation. The opposite of negative four or minus four is plus four. So that means we got to add four. So we're going to add 4 on the left-hand side and also on the right-hand side because when we solve equations, we want to stay balanced. we got to be balanced. So if I do something on the left side of the equation, I also got to do the same thing on the right side of the equation. So then on the right side, I'm doing plus 4 also. So on the left side, that adds up to 0. Negative 4 plus 4 equals 0. On the right-hand side, and I don't do nothing with the negative y right now, not on this step. On the right side, I do 3 plus 4, which gives me 7. I bring the equal sign down. I bring the negative y down. Don't forget that minus sign. A lot of people forget the minus sign. Make sure you don't forget the minus sign. All right? That minus sign is going to make this a negative y. So now, we got to get rid of this negative sign. This negative sign is really, it's really a negative 1. So always remember that. Math is a language. And a lot of times in math, we got different symbols and different characters and different letters and numbers that we use to represent certain things. And a lot of the things are like abbreviations. That's what makes things tricky sometimes, right? So this negative sign really means negative one times y. So we got to get rid of that. We got to get rid of the negative one. We're not just getting rid of the negative sign. It's actually a negative one. So then you got to ask yourself like, hmm, how do I get rid of negative one? If negative one is being multiplied by y, you do the opposite operation. So you divide. Even though technically, when you got a negative 1 times y, like you actually, it don't matter if you divide or multiply because you're going to get the same result. But that only works when we're dealing with negative 1. But just to be consistent, I would tell you to just divide by negative 1. Negative 1, but you got to stay balanced. So if I divide by negative 1 on the left, also got to divide by negative 1 on the right. So now I got y is equal to, and also I got to remember, positive divided by negative equals negative. Positive divided by negative equals negative. So this equals negative 7. So that means my ordered pair, because I chose negative 2 for x from the beginning, and my y value is negative 7. So I got, this is how I write it. You write your x value first, because it goes in order, alphabetical order. Your x value first, 
and your y value second. Don't forget your negative signs. And this is your answer right here. Negative two, negative seven. That's your answer right there. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, again, as I said, when you're trying to find an ordered pair, that's a solution to the equation that creates a true statement. So how do I know this is a solution? Let's go back. Let's make sure. Let's make sure because I might have made a mistake somewhere. Right. I'm human. I make mistakes. Right. So let's plug in the X value and the Y value and see what happens. So two times negative two is negative four minus negative seven. What is negative four minus negative seven? Minus negative seven. That's a double negative. What happens with a double negative? Double negatives become addition problems. When you have a double negative, that becomes addition. So instead of having negative four minus negative seven, now we really got negative four plus seven. Again, math is a language. You got to know the language. So whenever you see a double negative, a minus minus or minus a negative, that becomes addition. So that becomes negative four because it was two times negative two, negative four. Minus negative seven, so negative four plus seven. What is negative four plus seven? You gotta know how to do addition with negatives and positives. Negative four plus seven equals positive three. Because if you start at negative four on the number line, and then plus seven means you're gonna move seven spaces to the right. Seven spaces to the right. So if you move seven spaces to the right, you're gonna end up at positive three. So that's proof that this is a solution because that's true, right? So that means that neg it's true if somebody tells you that 2 times negative 2 minus negative 7 equals 3. That's true. And how you know it's true? Because you just did the math. We just did the math, so we know it's true. You know what I'm saying? So that's proof that this is a solution to the equation. So whenever you see a question like this, just know that you pick a random value for x, any value you want. You can pick your favorite number. It don't even matter. And then you, you plug that in or substitute the x for that number, and then you figure out what y is. You use algebra and solve for y. That's all you got to do. All right. Now, before I go, um, this is another one of my black power T-shirts with a lot of the, with the sisters on it. Um, black female legends. We got who we got here. We got Ida B. Wells, who put in a lot of work down in um, Mississippi. Um, Holly, Sp Holly Springs, Mississippi is where she was born. And then uh, Memphis. And then before uh, migrating up north to Chicago, got Rosa Parks, who was down with the um, Republic of New Africa. You know, at one point, uh, we got Asada Shakur, of course, right here. Matter of fact, this is the same pick. Pick on my T-shirt, the same pick that's on the wall right there. Asada Shakur, who my daughter Asada is named after. You've seen her in some of the videos on the channel. Um, who we got? We got Angela Davis, Harriet Tubman, of course, Francis Cress Wilson, Queen Mother Moore. Who else is on here? We got Shirley Chisholm, the politician, ran for president in 1972. Uh, Mary McLeod Bethune started um, what is now Bethune Cookman University down in Daytona Beach, Florida. Great educator. We got Sojourner Truth, famous for her Ain't I a Woman um, speech. Um, and then we got Fannie Lou Hamer. Fannie Lou Hamer, who was down with SNCC in the 1960s, down with Kwame Torre, Bob Moses, um, um, Ella Baker, you know, all of those people. Well, Ella Baker organized SNCC. It was for the young people, but she was from Mississippi. She was from Mississippi. She was one of the people, one of the local people from Mississippi that they connected with. You know what I mean? Um, definitely. So these are definitely people. Anybody that I name are people that you should be familiar with. So make sure you know about these people. It's important to know your math, but also know your his the history as well. You know what I mean? Um, and understanding math and knowing how to think critically, the same way you go through a mathematics problem will enable you to better understand history and be able to think critically about the stories that you read in your history textbooks or in books about historical figures. So there's a definite, a definite connection right there. And that's what I call histomatics. That's what I call histomatics. All right. So definitely make sure you subscribe to the channel, share the video. If you like the video, share it with some other people. Um, tell people about what we're doing at all this math. Get some practice with problems like this. And I will see you on the next video. Peace.